All right, guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Off-Axis Builds. I had a uh, washing machine uh, issue. Uh, in the last video, I showed you guys uh, how to get into the diagnostic code. It's really simple. Uh, so you should check that one out. I'll put a link over to that one. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, switch sensor or uh, position sensor. Um, and that's what that other video was explaining uh, through the codes on the lights. Uh, so anyways, stay tuned um, and I'll show you what we need to do. Now I've already replaced this one, but I'm gonna go through and show you how to get to it, pull it off, wires and bolts and whatever else that needs to be removed to get to it. Uh, it's a fairly simple job. It takes maybe 15 minutes. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And remember guys to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. All right guys. All right, guys, so this is the Whirlpool uh, model. I showed you how to get in the diagnostic code on the last video. Really easy to do. Um, here's the model. Uh, that's uh, model WTW5000DW1. And I'm sure the switch sensor is in the same location on all of them. Um, so what we're going to do, since I have uh, no clothes in it, no water in it, we're going to pull it away from the wall. And I'm going to tilt it, okay? You don't need to put it all the way on its back. Uh, if you feel more comfortable, you can do that. But in order to do that, you're going to need to unhook the uh, water uh, lines to it. Obviously, turn the water lines off. Um, but first things first, we're going to pull this thing away from the wall and unplug it so there's no power going to it, okay? And... The switch uh, sensor is actually underneath the uh, whole unit, so it's really easy to get to. Let me put you guys on the tripod, and uh, we'll go for it. All right, guys, so obviously before you do anything, you're going to want to unplug it. So there's no power going to the machine, okay? We're going to slide it out from the wall. From this point, we're going to go ahead and lean it against this other uh, unit, the dryer, okay? And you're going to get to a point where it's going to want to stay, okay? So I'm going to go a little bit further, okay? So I'm just kind of test it out, make sure it's not going to come back on you, okay? So what we're gonna do is get some lights up underneath it and a uh, tripod and I'll show you uh, wh what we're working on underneath. All right guys, so as you approach the machine, okay, the part that you're looking for is gonna be up underneath the back side of the whole machine. So you're gonna remove this cover and the switch is actually right back there, okay? So what you'll need to remove is a 5 16 wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, uh, gun on that just to quickly get it off, and then I'll show you where the part is located. So you have two bolts holding this plastic piece on. You're gonna have one right here, and one right here, okay? And it doesn't hurt to, at this point, 
uh, get a new pulley and belt, uh, but you don't have to. It's all entirely up to you, okay? So the part that we're actually replacing is this right here, okay? Um, usually what breaks is this little plastic lever uh, breaks off inside to where it doesn't make a good uh, connection to where this switch doesn't recognize where this is at. Uh, this won't fully fall out uh, most of the time, but most of the time you'll, you'll get a disconnect inside of here so it won't be telling the electronics what's going on, okay? So in order to re remove that, you're going to get a Phillips here, and there's one more on this side. You're going to pull this, those two Phillips off, but before you do that, there is electrical connection. Follow these lines. There's electrical connection. Let's see if I can show you. So you're looking for this white connection right here, okay? Real easy to pull off. Just push this little lever and it's done. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna remove the two Phillips. Like I said, there's one right here, and then one right there, okay? This thing will come out, and you just put the new one in, back in its place, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and get this guy removed. it is guys so like I said it's not this piece that breaks it's this lever that breaks off okay um, and it's because it's usually caused from a hard shift uh, more than likely from being out of balance um, and this is trying to shift and it won't move this over during uh, or while it's out of balance okay so what we're gonna do is just go and uh, put this guy back in I only removed it for uh purpose of this video. Um, so when I fixed this machine, I was in a hurry. I needed to get it back up and running uh, so we could use it. But I figured, you know what? Let me t tear it down and get you guys a video to show you uh, how to exactly fix this. So this uh, pin right here and this one goes into two holes on this transmission, okay? See if I can find it. There we go. Okay. Just go ahead and slide the Phillips screw back in here. Second one in there. Now don't wrench it down, just put it in snug, okay? It will stop when it's all the way in, okay? Just snug them down. Good. So this connection is real easy to do. It's built in such a way that all you do is slide it on, and this uh, little uh, lever right here will actually hold it in place. And it only goes in one direction. So that's as easy as it gets, guys. Um, we're going to go and put this cover back on. And uh, we're done. Okay, so let me go ahead and slide the camera back for you. This cover.
All right, guys, so we're gonna go put this uh, back on the ground and uh, this job is complete. All right, guys, so I hope that helped you guys. It was maybe a 20 minute job. That's even with me doing the videoing and getting all this stuff out specific for you guys. Um, yeah, 15, 20 minute job. I believe that part was maybe 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll get a link on, on, uh, the description above so you guys can kind of see, uh, a good place to get it. You don't have to get it at Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I'm just saying that's where I got my parts. Um, you can get them wherever you like. Uh, so anyways, 15, 20 minute job, really simple. So remember guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. All right guys, there'll also be a link to that other video on how to get into the diagnostic code. Uh, if you didn't see that video, check it out. All right guys, see you on the next one. All right guys, remember guys to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Remember guys, it's always built, not bought. See you on the next one.